Oh, that's a good size trout. Holy crap. That is a really good size trout. Check out that catfish. Are you freaking <laughs> What is going on guys and welcome back to another fishing adventure. So it is 7 in the morning, the wind is about 14 miles per hour, but in 2 hours it's going to be like 30 miles per hour. It's going to be horrible. If you look right here, I actually have the John boat out. I started it up yesterday, got the motor on, it's running great. I'm so stoked it started up, but uh, there's only one problem. The wind is going to be horrible for the next 4 days which is it just sucks it was bad the last two days and it's gonna be bad the next four days so no jumbo unfortunately so i gotta take the jumbo off the car and then we're gonna head to amarillo and go do some trout fishing <sighs> sorry girl i tried i really tried but you gotta hurry though before it gets too windy All right, let's head off to Amarillo. We have an hour drive and we're off. Definitely windy, but we just arrived at the lake and I'm surprised no one's here. I guess I'm not, it's windy as crap. That's most likely why, but uh, you know what? I am not staying inside the house today. I'm going fishing, no matter how windy it is. So let's go ahead, head down there and drop some poles in the water. I do want to re-rig my trout rod with the new Okuma Avenger, which I will do, but first let's just go cast that one at least and get set up. We'll be casting in the wind. We may have to go over there. Dang, water has dropped. All right, so I'm gonna be changing out the reel on this rod, but for now I'm gonna be casting it out. And then once I get that new reel lined up, we'll switch it out. So I got my poles casted out. Hopefully they catch a trout. But while they sit here and do that, I'm gonna go to my car and rig up this new Akuma Avenger. I wanna throw this on my ultralight trout rod. I got some soft steel, six pound mono here. I'm gonna fill her up with some line and then we can hopefully go catch a trout. There is no way I'm doing this outside. It is way too windy. But I am watching my poles from here. If we get a bite, I'll run over there and hopefully set the hook just right. I grabbed a, a stake for a fishing pole. I'm just going to stab it through the center here. Alright, so I'm going to set this down by my feet. Hold that down. Let's get this started real tight. This would definitely be easier to do on the rod, but I wanted two rods out there to maximize my fish catching potential. Oh yeah. It's pretty hard though, I'm not gonna lie. At least the line will be really tight. All right, I think, yep, all right, that's enough. That's all we need. All right, so now we have the Avenger full of line. Now we can go throw it on the trout rod. No bites yet. All right, let's get rid of this reel and throw on the Avenger. Once again, this is not the reel I want on this pole. I wanna go even smaller for this ultralight setup, but that reel has yet to come in, but once it does, we'll switch it out again to that reel. So now we got the Okuma SST trout rod with the Okuma Avenger. Looks pretty good. Now we just need to catch a trout on it. All right, first cast, see how she does. Oh yeah, that's way better than that last one. All right, on to a new spot. 
that spot was a bust. What the hell? Did the wind stop? I guess there's just no wind over here. I don't know. But uh, spot number two, this is the original spot. I was hoping I'd do good over there, but I didn't. So now I'm relying on this spot here to give me something. Cause this lake is so disgusting. My line started swimming. Yes, fish on. No, 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 no. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, we're on. <laughs> okay. Good deal. Wee, it's real smooth. Oh, baby. That's a nice size trout, too. All right. Finally, we got on a trout. It's probably been a good hour of fishing. All right. There is the first trout of the day. I am stoked. Let's set that guy back free. Come on, buddy. Get out of here. Yep. There he goes. See you, buddy. All right, first trout down. What was that on? Oh, no way. Back to back? Back to back. All right, guys, this new spot is paying off. No, I yanked it out of his mouth. Oh, I set the hook too hard. Dang it. That sucks. The app broke the line. Ah, oh, that sucks. Okay. Well, guys, this is the spot. I just broke my line. Ah, oh, that sucks. But we had back-to-back -back fish. I'm going to get this pole back out there first because it still has a hook. I was testing out what flavor to use as well. And they both got hit pretty much at the same time. So both flavors are working pretty good. So I fished for about an hour. No bites over there. Got over here, fished for about five minutes. And two bites back to back. Oh, I'm so mad my line broke. Yep, that's a fish. Okay. My line got tight. Dang it. Yeah, that one got off. Okay, the fish are biting like crazy right now. That is good. My GoPro died, but I cast it out and like a minute later, it was already biting. All right, let's try this again. Got some fresh line on there. Shouldn't snap anymore. I just gotta not be afraid to set the hook. There it is. Yes. Oh, it's pissed. It's mad. It's fighting hard. Oh, and it stopped. Come on, baby. Get over here. Man, not the biggest trout, but that pink on that one is really pretty. I don't know. It just stands out a lot more than usual. All right. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. There it goes. Oh, yeah. They are loving the corn flavor today. Oh, oh, we're gonna bite already. I'm still, I was still putting bait on the other pole. We already got a bite. Yep, it's on, it's on. Oh man, fishing is going to be good today. I am stoked. I'm so happy I moved spots. This is a world of difference over here compared to over there. This guy doesn't want to fight. Oh, there he goes. Oh, that's a good sized trout. Holy crap. That is a really good sized trout. Get over here, buddy. Dang. Holy crap. Ooh wee. Oh, sorry, bud. Sorry, sorry. Stop. Chill, 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 chill. Bro, you gotta survive, dude. Chill. Guys, look at that trout. Holy crap. That is awesome. And that was on the trout rod too. So that was a pretty fun fight. All right. See ya, buddy. Woo. That was a good sized trout. Holy crap. <sighs> okay. Now I have no poles in the water again. Need to hurry up and get some bait back on and get them back out there. Man, it is back to back today. Like I said, I was literally in the middle of baiting up this pole after that last catch and we got another bite. I'm so glad I came here today. I wasn't going to because the wind was horrible, but 
I just wanted to get out of the house. And it's paying off. Thank you, Lord. I'm digging this combo, though. This Avenger is way smoother than that last reel I had on here. Cast a lot farther, too, so... We can get it out there where the trout actually are and actually catch them. Oh, baby. It's a good day. It is a good day to have a good day. One minute in the water. Not even kidding. I just casted this out. Probably less than a minute. Yep. Yep. Yeah, buddy. Maybe. I don't think it's... It's not fighting if it's on. Did I miss it? Oh, there it is. Dude, this guy did not want to fight at all. He's pretty little though, so that's probably why. I thought I missed it. Jeez. Little guy. But hey, one minute in the water, I will take it. Get out of here, buddy. You're too small. Dude, trout are so cool. I want to go catch some steelhead, man. Some big old trout. That'd be awesome. Or some sea trout. I am heading down to the coast where there is sea trout, so we may just get a chance to catch some at the end of the month. Dude, this thing casts like a dream. So we caught, what, like three or four right here in like 20 minutes compared to zero in an hour over there? Crazy, man. That's why you always need to move spots. Never get comfortable in the same spot when you're fishing. Bite. There's a bite right there. Yep. Fish on. <laughs> what is going on right now? I also love being the only person catching fish out of the lake too. It happens a lot. Like I look around, no one's catching anything. When I'm over here catching them all. I love that. This guy's tugging. He's not happy. He's not happy. Oh yeah. Get in here bud. Get in. That's another good size. It's fighting like it's a good size. That's alright. It's an alright size. Wet the hands. That's good size. What am I talking about? That's a really good size trout. I've honestly lost count of all the trout, but uh, it's about three, four, or five. I'm not really sure, but thank you, buddy. Oh, he's mad. He's mad. Nope, nope, nope. Go that way, bud. Jesus. There you go. This water's so shallow. It's horrible. Come on. Dude, dude. You're not even in water. You're not in water. What are you doing? I'm gonna have to step out here in the water. Do it out there that way. There you go. All right. Like I was saying, don't get comfortable fishing. Always move spots until they start biting. Then you stay. Once they stop, move again. I almost brought some real corn today too, but I didn't. I never use real corn for trout. I do not like that cast. That cast went straight up in the air. It still got good distance though. So I'll keep it, but. Oh, I was filming it. <laughs> Dang it. I was filming a little cinematic shot and my got a bite. That's how quick it's happening, guys. Set my pole down to film the shot and already got a bite. Insane. Are you on? Yep, it's on. Maybe, maybe not. Dude, these fish are not fighting today. Oh, there it is. Okay, I didn't even think it was on. They are not fighting at all. Oh, that one's mad though. He's jumping out there. Guys, this is nuts. This is absolutely insane. I set my pole down. I cast it out, set my pole down to film that shot and instantly got a bite. These guys are ready. It's springtime, baby. Springtime, the trout are loving it. It's not really springtime, but about 60 degree weather. 
Yeah, 60, or it was 56 this morning at 7 o'clock. And these trout are just digging it, I guess. All right, guys, another good sized trout. Let's see if we'll take off. Get out of here, buddy. Oh, yeah. I have not been here in like a week, a week and a half. And I'm so glad I came today. It is on fire right now. This trout rod is going off today. Oh crap. Did we just double up? I think we just doubled up. Oh, this guy's a little. Okay, I don't want this pole to take off. Want to be fast. Dude, this guy's really little. Holy crap, that's a baby. Smallest guy of the day. That way, that way. Nope. Turn around, that way. Yep, almost. Oh, there he goes. All right. See you, buddy. Go grow up. I thought I saw this line. Oh, yep. It's moving. It may have been the wind. I don't know. These guys are not fighting. It's weird. Okay, there wasn't a fish on. Must have just been the wind. The wind is picking up over here. Oh, definitely lost that one. Felt it rip out of his mouth. Come on, man. Must have been barely hooked. This combo here has done me good today. We caught quite a few trout on it. Well guys, I'm going to go ahead and call it. The bite has officially died, but that was a insane hour of fishing. I sat over there for an hour, caught nothing. Sat over here for an hour and caught. I don't even know how much I caught. I didn't keep count, but it was back to back crazy trout action. Pretty awesome, I'm glad I came. But now I'm gonna head to Academy and go do some shopping. I need to get some stuff for the John boat. Guys, springtime is right around the corner. So walleye, crappie, bass, right around the corner. I am so freaking ready for it, but my John boat is not ready for it. So I need to get that out, get the motor out, start her up, get it all tuned up and get the John boat ready. So I'm gonna head to Academy, get a battery, get some other stuff for it. But I will show you that in the next video. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.